Hi friends, it's Mrs. Vincent and I am here to read you some summer stories. Just so you know, I found um, I found this story on Epic, so while I am going to read it to you right now, you are more than welcome to go back and read this on your own. I'm not sure if this is a read to me one, so you might need some help um, asking a mom or dad or brother or sister or someone else to help you out with this. Sorry, I didn't check into that first. But this is a fun one because I've got an idea for once we get to the end, um, how you could kind of take it um, and do it at home on your own. So this one is called My Awesome Summer by P. Mantis. And the story is written by Paul Meisel. Uh, I hope I'm not mispronouncing his name. Um, but this is My Awesome Summer. So I'm going for a summer theme here as we get close. May 17th. I was born today. It's a beautiful sunny spring day. And pay close attention. May 18th. It was so crowded in the egg case. Really, really crowded. Me and around 150 praying mantis brothers and sisters. I don't have any wings yet so I can't fly. Now I know we're not too far into this story quite yet, but we talk a lot about characters in the story. And the first character that we've met is P Mantis. He is a praying mantis. And you'll notice that this is actually a diary, like a journal entry. So when he is saying, it's actually the praying mantis who is talking, I don't have any wings yet, so I can't fly. Well, obviously Mrs. Vincent doesn't have wings either and I can't fly either, but this is actually the praying mantis who's um, doing the talking right now. So we are actually going through his life cycle and also his summer, which is pretty cool. So right now he can't fly. May 19th. It's okay that I can't fly. The bush I was born on has some aphids all over it. Yum. Soft and delicious. Built-in food for our praying mantis. May 24th. Some big birds landed near me. I did my cool trick, pretending to be a stick blowing in the wind. And you can see he's over here saying, uh-oh. And you can see that they're doing whatever they can to camouflage themselves. And it worked because they flew away. June 2nd, all the aphids are gone. I'm hungry, growing so fast. I ate one of my brothers. Okay, maybe two. Sounds a little strange to go around eating your brother. But remember, we're in the animal world, we're in the insect world, so things are a little bit different there. June 4th, I ate another brother and one of my sisters too. I grew again, I shed my skin. June 27th, I still don't have wings, so I walk and jump everywhere. I started to explore the neighborhood. A big animal came sniffing around. I did my cool trick again. You can't see me, I'm a stick. And you do have to use some spy eyes over here. I'm seeing, here he is right here, doing whatever he can not to get eaten. For a pips week, I've got some sharp teeth. My razor arms are super fast too. A grasshopper hopped next to me. I grabbed him before he could say Jiminy Cricket. If you can hear my kids above me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm recording down in the basement and they're playing upstairs. <laughs> July 17th, I grew some more, shed my skin again. Still can't fly, so more walking, jumping and exploring. July 19th, ran into one of my brothers. He tried to eat me, so I ate him. Sorry, brother. <laughs> <laughs> July 27th. Sometimes I like to hang out upside down, mostly when I shed my skin, but other times for fun. I'm getting pretty big now. Unlike other insects, I can turn my head to see what's behind me. Hello? 
So that's something that's a little bit unique for our praying mantis over there. And there he is hanging upside down. And it says, especially when he likes to hang upside down, especially when he's shedding his skin, but not always. Sometimes he just does it for fun. Like you hanging out upside down. July 29th, praying? Yeah, I'm praying. Praying something tasty comes along that thinks I'm a stick. August 2nd. I grew again, shed my skin again. I hung upside down to get my old skin off. I felt a little naked until my new skin hardened. So again, they're giving us a little bit more. We, we've seen him shed multiple times. This is his skin down here. Um, but they're talking about how that new skin still feels a little bit fresh. If you've ever gotten um, a sunburn before and you peel, your skin peels off, uh, hopefully it doesn't happen too often, but that skin underneath of it tends to be a little bit more sensitive. And it's the same for our little praying mantis too. August 9th. Ah, I love the summer. Long, hot days, cool nights. I like to hide in the shade and eat bugs near the flowers. I chewed the head off a bee. Not my favorite. There he is down here. And you're seeing a lot of things in nature. Oh, sorry, not him, him. <laughs> That's our praying mantis up there. That's a different insta insect hanging out in nature. Notice a lot of the bees up here because they want that juicy nectar from inside of those flowers. Everybody needs food. August 15th. Finally, I can fly. Almost got eaten by a bat. Landed on a branch and made like a stick until it flew away. If you were like my family, we learned about uh, nocturnal animals. So that bat is coming out at nighttime. And his primary thing that he likes to eat is often insects, one of them being our praying mantis. So he needs to act like a stick. August 25th, I nearly walked into a spider's web. Spiders scare me. This one wanted to eat me. I jumped away as fast as I could. Smart move so he doesn't get stuck in that web. September 5th, grew again. I shed my skin too. Last one for the summer. I forget, I think it's eight or nine times. Honestly, I lost track myself. September 25th, fall is here. There's a chill in the air. I'm looking for the perfect branch. Not very hungry, moving slowly now. You can see how things are changing because now we're in a different season. You can see that the leaves have changed even just from one page to the next because we're in fall and we know that the leaves start to change as they get themselves ready for winter. October 14th, I found it, the bush where I was born. I laid eggs, put foam around them, it hardened, and made an egg case. Hundreds of praying mantises will be born in the spring. And there it is. This is his egg case, which is going to harden to really protect all of those. Remember when he was born, there were 150 brothers and sisters around him. So he has laid um, his eggs inside of that case, which will harden in order to protect them until they are born in the spring. So it's also interesting to me that he goes back to the same bush that he was um, born, which I think is pretty fun. He's not the only animal in nature to do that. Sea turtles come back to the same beach where they were born. That's always the first one that jumps into my head. So it's pretty interesting to make comparisons between animals. October 17th. I'm going to lie down now, now and take a long nap. Goodbye. And if you choose, there's a lot of information on this page. I'll try and go um, and I'll show you where I'm reading. A baby praying mantis is called a nymph. It takes four to six months for a nymph to become an adult. An adult like P. mantis can be four inches long. It will shed its skin six to 10 times when it is growing. The praying mantis has a triangle shaped head. You can see a really good picture there. That like the human head 
can swivel on its neck. That means turn on its neck. You can turn your head from side to side. Another word for turn is swivel. I'm, it's the only insect that can do this. It has one ear and two large eyes. During the day, it can see objects as far as 50 feet away. They also label all the other different body parts. So this is his thorax and his abdomen, which is true of many insects. He's got six legs. Here are his wings, which again, didn't grow uh, or didn't become usable for quite some time. Here are his walking legs, his raptorial legs, and this is his head that swivels. Some praying mantises have wings and can fly. Others do not develop wings. Praying mantises like P. Mantis, the star of this book, have two sets of wings. Males are lighter than females and can fly longer distances. P. Mantis would not have been able to defend herself very well from a bat, spider, bird, frog, or lizard that might have wanted to eat her. Praying mantises try to defend themselves with their sharp forearms, or they stand up tall and spread their arms to look bigger. They even make a hissing sound. But against larger, stronger predators, they are pretty defenseless. In colder climates like the one where P. mantis lives, females lay up to 300 eggs. They cover the eggs with foam that becomes a hard, protective egg case called an uthica. And please forgive me if I mispronounce that word. Adult praying mantises don't survive the winter, but their babies hatch in the spring. Then the cycle begins all over again. So we saw when our story ended that P. Mantis said goodbye to us. And unfortunately, that is a forever goodbye. But again, when we have learned about the life cycle, um, she has left behind her eggs in order to um, hatch in the spring and the whole cycle will start again. Um, it's always fun for me because I learn a lot of stuff too. I don't often do some research on praying mantises. So I got to learn some fun facts with you on this one. And I started out by saying that this might be a fun activity for you to do if you're someone that has really enjoyed some of the journaling options that we've had for some of our um, language and science uh, lessons that we've been posting. Maybe you want to think about journaling throughout your summer months. Um, it can be every day if you want it, or it can be kind of safe for days when you do something a little bit more fun and exciting. It's really up to you. And even if you're not kind of a, a writing friend, you can still record your summer in pictures. At least maybe write the date so it will help you to remember when those different events happened and you'll be able to look back on that. But if you really want to challenge yourself, try and add a sentence or two to tell or to remind yourself or to even to tell someone else what you did on that day that was so special that you wanted to record it in your journal. So just like pre -mantic P. Mantis recorded his summer, you can also do the same. And I hope you um, enjoyed this book and hopefully you will enjoy this summer activity as well. Until next time, boys and girls, thank you so much for listening to P. Mantis with me. Until next time, I miss you and I hope to see you soon around the neighborhood. Bye.